welcome back today we are going to show a new technology substrate integrated web guide siw technology we already know about planar technology micro strip line where two metal plate is sandwiched by dielectric layer and next another technology is rectangular waveguide where two metal plate is again captured by side metal plate so as shown in figure so in rectangular waveguide four walls are encapsulated by metal and metal portion is vacuum so from the structural structural point of view the planar micro strip line and rectangular waveguide siw is in between structure so the advantage of the siw why people use siw the advantage is that siw it is low cost fabrication and it can be attached with planar circuit means already existing circuit is planar circuit so you can easily integrate siw to the micro strip line in pcb technology so how can we realize substrate integrated waveguide the physics theory methods is as similar of rectangular waveguide so our goal is how can i derive its derivative from rectangular waveguide so in planar micro strip line if i see top and bottom portion so it is metal sheet so that is similar to rectangular waveguide now if i make periodic chain of cylinder just side of the planar micro strip line so it will work as a electrical bulb so if i make this via hole very close then it can be used as a continuous wall at particular frequency so that is the physics of substrate integrated waveguide that is simply planar version of rectangular waveguide now i am coming next point what would be the separation between via and what is the diameter of the via so that is depend on your design frequency some if you see some articular standard paper they can they derive the accurate design of how much the separation between the via and what is the diameter of the via that detailed study you can see and for now while the analytical expression it will obey the rectangular waveguide expression so the separation between the rectangular waveguide if it is a then siw there is small little mismatch will be a so that is depend on the separation between the via so there is some standard techniques a effective that is the that is in between the two separation two via row separation so that also you can calculate by full wave simulation another important point is piece separation means periodic via separation so in periodic via separation roughly for a particular frequency it should be means it much much less than lambda g by 8 lambda g by 16 like this so and at 10 gigahertz it is usually maintain 1 mm separation between the piece to piece separation or 2 mm piece to piece separation you can do so thumb rule is again i am repeating lambda g by 8 it should not not exist not exit lambda g by 8 so that is the basic principle of siw so today we are going to present its simulation so in simulation hfs simulation so in simulation first we will design simple micro strip line substrate 
box we will define all the parameters as you did the in the earlier tutorial microscopy line simulation in a sensor and then we will place via so after that we will see the electric field electric field is it is similar to microscopy um, uh, rectangular wave plate we already in another tutorial we showed shown that in rectangular wave guide the electric field t10 mode so similarly in this technology in siw we will see the electric field means t10 mode we will see another uh, details analysis if you want then is in siw so there is a t10 mode is monomode bandwidth is very higher apart from t20 you can't excite it another thing is tm0 mode you ca it can't excite it so that thing is we can discuss later also so next tutorial we can see also how the transition is done in siw in this video we are limited to without any transition we will design particular x band rectify means modified rectangular wave guide that is substrate integrated wave guide then we will put port in the direct the opening of the wave guide then let's say what is going on so i think you will enjoy and hope you enjoy it so let's complete the simulation procedure best of luck thank you